Today, I would like to demonstrate our new ClickView interactive dashboards that are the primary data source for the Johns Hopkins Health System Blood Management Program. You can see the five different hospitals in our health system here on the left. And since we usually focus on inpatients, I have pre-selected inpatients only here. Across the top are multiple tabs for the dashboard parameters, and we can start with the red blood cell summary. Now let's switch from the whole health system to Howard County Hospital. And on the x-axis is a two and a half year time scale shown at monthly intervals. We have been encouraging single unit red cell transfusion orders with our Why Give Two When One Will Do campaign. And you can see the effect of that on the top left as our single unit red cell transfusion orders have increased from about 30% to over 75%. On the right, we have our hemoglobin trigger data, and the trigger is defined as the most recent hemoglobin value before the transfusion occurs. Evidence-based guidelines suggest a hemoglobin trigger of 7 or less, which is depicted in our graphs as green. Yellow is 7 to 7.9, and red is a hemoglobin trigger of 8 or greater. You can see how that percentage of evidence-based red cell transfusions has risen in recent months due to the efforts of our blood management program. On the bottom left, you can also see a 30% decrease in red cell utilization over the same time period, shown in average number of units per patient. Next, if you want to drill down more specifically we can go to our RBC authorizing provider reports and we can click on an individual department such as critical care and on the left you will see the individual providers numeric ID codes with their one versus two unit percentages and on the right you can see the corresponding hemoglobin trigger data for each individual provider compared to their peers. Now I will clear the selections, go back to select inpatients, and we'll go ahead and look at plasma and platelet utilization. I'll select Johns Hopkins Hospital plasma, and we can see that the out of guideline plasma transfusions were the preceding INR of less than 1.5 are essentially unchanged or perhaps even slightly increased over the last three years. So we have some work to do with our plasma guideline compliance. Over here is the number of plasma units ordered for each individual department and the percent of in and out of guideline compliance. We'll go ahead and look at platelets, and here we have the percentage of platelets given with the preceding platelet count greater than 50,000, which is essentially unchanged over the last three years. Platelet utilization shown here, bottom left, also unchanged. So we have some opportunity and some work to do with platelet transfusion guidelines. Over here, we see the number of platelet transfusions by department. It's not surprising that oncology leads the way in number of platelet transfusions and also the least number of out-of-guideline transfusions. Medicine and pediatrics uh, follow oncology. We have a large ECMO service uh, explaining the platelet use in pediatrics. So that's how our ClickView dashboards work. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.